two. What do you need to know about love? Anna Devere Smith is a famous actor who was our artist in residence a few years ago. And I've learned so much about love from this person. You've seen her many times on the West Wing, on television shows, but her most important work are plays that she acts and writes on her own. Twilight Los Angeles, she um, writes and speaks out about the school to prison pipeline. Um, and in these works, she takes on the persona of another person and she changes our hearts and minds in profound ways. I remember one time Anna um, was talking about, about being in college. Uh, it was her senior year and she'd been putting off this class because she'd heard the professor was grumpy uh, until her senior year. And when it came time to take the class, she, she didn't come to go to class very often. It was a religious studies class. And she decided to write her paper on the liberation theologian James Cone, uh, somebody who's profoundly inspired me and influenced me and taught me. So she wrote this, uh, the, her, her paper on James Cone, and she was so surprised to hear back from her professor. And the professor wrote her lengthy comments. And she was sitting in her dorm room with some friends, and she um, theatrically read out the comments out loud in kind of a joking way. And at the very end, it said, a gape, and then the professor's name. And, she said that, and one of her classmates said, that's not agape, that's agape. And agape is a form of love from ancient Greek. Preachers love to talk about this, that there are three kinds of love. The first kind of love is eros, the kind of love that we feel, the sexual desire we feel for another person. The second is philia, that's the love that we have for friends. And the third is agape, that's self-emptying love. That's love for the sake of the person you're loving. And that is really what Christianity is all about. Jesus in the, in, in, in his, in the New Testament says, we're supposed to even love our enemies. And one of the most powerful lines in the New Testament sums up all of religion to me is, God is love. Now, many of these ideas are, are ideas that, that Anna Devere Smith in, embraced. She loved and cared about them so much. She studied Martin Luther King, uh, she studied uh, his, his sermons, and she found that in his sermons he, he used very beautiful um, flowery rhetoric, um, but when he, he got down to brass tacks, when he got down to the practical parts of things, he spoke in very simple terms about how we should try to love our enemy. And this is what Martin Luther King says about loving our enemy. Here's the person who is a neighbor, and this person is doing something wrong to you and all that, just keep being friendly to that person. Keep loving them. Don't do anything to embarrass them. Just keep loving them. And they can't stand it too long. They react with guilt feelings, and sometimes they'll hate you a little more at that transition period. But just keep loving them. And by the power of your love, they will break down under the load. When Anna Devere Smith was uh, memorizing Letter for Birmingham Jail and acting it out, um, she, someone heard her doing it. He said, you're sounding, you sound so accusatory and condemning. I, I think you should try it in a different way. And she did. It transformed her. And in a sermon she wrote that I absolutely love, she concluded the sermon by quoting Barack Obama's last State of the Union address. And this is what Barack Obama said about love, too. That's the America I know. That's the country we love. Clear-eyed, big-hearted, undaunted by challenge, optimistic that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word. I don't know what kind of struggles you're having over love these days, but we have so many wonderful people to inspire us, to take us to deeper levels, to help us to be vulnerable, to give of ourselves. My name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral here in San Francisco, California. Thanks for watching. More good news.